Hey guys, how you doing? Um, another quick video just showing the uh, the Y wings in the collection. These are all studio scale Y wings. Um, there's the master replica one there that's been repainted. Um, the studio scale nice and red jammer, and the custom one that I've just put my own um, blue markings on and just made it my own one. Then there's the lovely Return of the Jedi Lee Ralph. Uh, replica there that needs to be finished and then then this guy that I can't say too much about but it's still in the collection um, but I'll go around with the camera and um, show the differences between each one and uh, the reasons why the painting have you know have taken course on, on each individual ship so um, yeah I'll do a close-up okay so this is the master replica repaint it weighs a ton <laughs> because it's cast in I think polystone I think that's how um Master Replica cast these, same as the Millennium Falcon and the Snow Speeder and that sort of thing. Um, it's not accurate. The pipework sort of depicts um, the jammer, really. Um, but even then, that's that's still not correct. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful model. It really is. Um, there's... Um, I don't think there's any kit parts missing. It was really faithful there, and the proportions are really good. I mean, if you just um, stick to the um, Sat V cannons, uh, not cannons, but these, you know, you, like Master Replica did, you're not going to get too far wrong with the proportions, but um, very hard to get nowadays. But the paint job was just appalling. It's, it's, the, the Hasbro toys that you can buy in the shop are, are better paint jobs on them than the Master Replica Y-Wing. It's uh, atrocious. But with a repaint, um, it can look really nice. And I did this as Gold 3. Um, the thing that jumped out on me with the Gold 3 was the um, the gun that was replaced. And I think I read somewhere that Bill George repaired um, the model back in the day and didn't put the original um, the BF-109 airfix guns on the top, which we're, we're sort of used to. This was a, I think it's a Honda or a Suzuki um, 112 Tamiya um, uh, fork on the front there, which makes up the gun. Now, there's pictures, uh, if you look on the Star Wars Blu-ray extras, there's a really nice close-up of that that shows that, the gun on top, that, um, that bike for, um, part. But I think there's another photo I found. There's two. So that sits in the middle at the moment. And so <laughs> during its process, these would have been knocked off. Then two of those would have been put in to replace them. And now there's some ref pictures that I think, as I just said, on the Blu-ray, that only show the one left. So that's how I've depicted it. But uh, yeah, as I say, the Master Epic can look really nice with a new paint job. And this was... 136 out of I don't know how many how many they did in the end, but uh, yeah. So I was I was happy to get my hands on one of these because the, as I say they're they're as rare as hen's teeth and they're worth quite a lot of money now. So it's nice to have one of those in the collection. But I just had to repaint it, and that was repainted with uh, Reef of White by Archive X and just the usual library, you know, all that sort of. I think that was sky blue, and then uh, um, I don't know if that was Reef or uh, Reef of Yellow, or if that was. The darker one of the two um, that's on the fat armor, I can't remember now, but um, yeah, that was that was excellent fun to paint. That was that was lovely. So um, yeah, that's the Master Replica Gold Three. Okay, so next up is my custom uh, Studio Scale um, Blue. I called it Blue Y Wing. It's um, um, printed off the day. Well, I say printed the cockpit and a canopy that's um the dave g files and the t bar underneath is from the dave g uh, uh, open source files that he kindly gave out on the rpf a while back a few years back now but at that time there wasn't apart from the nice and, and the master replica there wasn't really access to a faithful studio scale y wing so that was great at the time and 3D printing was really sort of kicking off then and he printed out 
a few, I think, or and then got. Uh, I think they got sent to, to China and and, and printed out. Uh, so they were really high res and lovely. And then he did some casts. So although, yes, it's essentially three D printed. That's actually a cast uh, cockpit head and canopy frame from the three D printed master. But the body is three D printed. Everything else you see are kit parts whether they're original styrene ones that um, I've used from the vintage kits or from the resin Greebly run that again was from a chap on the RPF. I can't remember the name now, but I didn't stick to any of the original wirings really. I just, just used the same parts with the eight rad and stuff on there and the Harrier parts and, and all the familiar ones that you see, but they might not be put in in the, in the correct place because I just wanted to just go hell for leather for it and just do my completely own um style really um you know there is on the back the where the, the michimo jag d pad i think was part that spins round and there is some electrics in there to light the engines there's two leds in the, in the back there and then there's uh, a resin droid in there that's a bit different to the usual uh what else um oh yeah it's sitting on a uh if i can get that off sitting on a master replica base and you can see i mean it's, it doesn't weigh anything it's just it's, it's light because it's it's not like the master replica that weighs a ton that's sitting on the master replica base and it's um i was lucky enough to get one of these that was a chap that had his um master replica repainted and put on a custom base much like the red jammer at the back and didn't want the base anymore or the plaque so i snapped them up and the only problem was the glass had a crack in it so i took the glass off and just put a black bit of um styrene down but that fits in with the rest of my models and looks quite nice so oh yeah and there's a mounting point here as well for, so you could have it upright but um that's actually for sale at the moment and i've got um, a few people interested but nothing's gone until it's gone so yeah let me know if you want it <laughs> so that was my custom blue wiring now this is one of my favorites it's lee ralph's lovely um, replica of the uh, Return of the Jedi wiring. I'm sure you would have seen some of Lee's videos. Um, he's done some lovely videos of painting the one that you know, he mastered and all that sort of thing. And he can, if he's currently selling them, I think. So you know, I think if he, if there's time left to grab one, uh, shoot him a message and see if he can get one. But um, that's going to be great. I still need to get the few little kit parts that go over the wings and that sort of thing. And I did order the um, the T strip and everything I needed from EMA Models. For the um this stuff it's really small but uh they sent the wrong stuff so i'm gonna have to order all that again but it's just it's it's beautiful the way it's um he's designed and everything to um come off and fit it, it's superb and it's such a cleanly cast um model from edward francis i think he, he cast that for for lee he did a beautiful job much like his t70 so um, that's in the pipeline as well, that kit. So that'll be on the horizon soon. I'll be doing a build up of that. Then um, the last thing, uh, Lee again has come to the rescue and provided me with one of his old Nissan um, cockpits. And I've got a cast from my screen, uh, well production used, uh, wiring canopy um, that I won off the prop store auction that had a missing part here on the original and this was sent to my good friend John Stewart or JT who you might know him on the net he cast the original and then filled in that part and then cast the, the repair so now I've got the uh, true part that's been literally cast off an original ILM production used Y-Wing uh, canopy. And that'll um, obviously go on the next build. And I'm, I was considering doing a like um, a Y-Wing that was in clear parts so I could um, put on show the, the production used pieces that I had. But I'm, I might just turn it into another Y-Wing now. I've got all, I've, you, when you start building these, you get so much stuff left over. You got the, the egg cones from the legs eggs packets and you've got bags and bags of kit parts and 
all this, the, I mean, these are all old Salzo parts. It's just, you, you start building two or three and then you think I might as well go <laughs> to a fourth because there's just so much left over. But uh, anyway, that's that's the um, the studio scale stuff. So thank you for looking. Um, I think the next video I might do A-wings next because I'm starting to build them up as well. <laughs> so yeah, that was the Y-wings. So I appreciate the likes and comments as always, guys. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. Cheers.